I want to talk to you about three things today. First, I want to give you a little bit about what the forum is about, which is the slide you see up there now. Uh, the second thing I want to do is I want to take you through and give you some information about our architecture group. And then the third thing I want to do on this meeting is give you some information that you could take away and use immediately. A big part of what we do in this group is share content about service delivery. And I have a, a very useful piece of content that I'd like to share today at the end of this meeting. Let's talk briefly about what the Digital Services Forum is. So we started this group back in 2018 and we meet every other week in a web conference. We have over a thousand members now. Usually there's about a hundred or so that come on each of our calls and 90% of those are customers of ServiceNow. We focus on core service delivery. So you won't come here and see product demos. It's mostly focused on its forum. So working through problems and understanding problems that we can use the platform for. We also have a YouTube channel. So there's 20 videos on that channel right now. And these are all our videos from 2022. There's about 12,000 views across that channel. So we've been pretty successful sharing that content with our community. We are often the top on the ServiceNow community. So when we do post new videos, we do reach that top level. There's also a ServiceNow community on the ServiceNow side. So we are a forum in ServiceNow, and this is where we share our content. We need a place to share the content, whether it's customer content because they presented something, ServiceNow content, or even content from some of our partners. All that's available on that community. So if you do see something you like, that's where you'll find it. And that's where I'm gonna guide you today from this video so that you can get the deck that I'm about to share. We also have a shared instance and members of our community get access to this instance when they ask for it. That shared instance is where we do a lot of our demos from. And the reason we try to do them there is so that you can go back and use what we did in that ServiceNow instance. The group is run by ServiceNow Enterprise Architects, and I'm one of those architects that run the group. And we use this framework called Leap, and Leap is our way of getting information out to the customers. What we try to do with architects, the core job is try to be the communicator and take a lot of things that are really complex and try to communicate them in a simple way. We developed a framework called Leap for this, and it's really the primary job of our architecture team, besides to support this channel and get information out to our customers. We built Leap because of the Now platform. If you go back to 2004, it was a very simple platform. It only did a few things. Then we released IT service management on it. It was our first product. But soon after that came some other IT products and it started to build even into the security area because it closely paralleled IT. If you fast forward all the way till today and you look at the platform, there's a lot of capabilities. This is where you start to think about business architecture and data architecture and technology architecture. Our team has a framework called Leap and we use Leap to come out to our customers. We have these four offerings as part of that Leap framework. Now let's go into the content for today. One of our architects in Europe recently released a really useful document and I wanted to share that with all of you. And the document is going to be downloadable and I'll, I'll guide you to our community and in, in the notes of this video, you'll see the link to the community where you can download this content. When you click on that link, you'll get this PowerPoint deck that's 24 slides. And then once you download those slides, you'll be able to put it in presentation mode and that's how you want to use it. So let's take a look at that deck. This, in the beginning, there's some intro slides and you'll go through and it gives you some, some general things about ServiceNow, which may be useful to everybody. But the part that's really useful in helping us communicate as architects is as we go down and we get through the introductions, we can skip that part. Uh, so you'll see on here, it says skip to intro. And that's one of the interactive components you have to be aware of in order to use this deck effectively. So let's skip the intro for now and jump to the capabilities. When I come up to the capabilities, there's, there's going to be three different slides. And you'll see this is slide one, which this is mostly focused on the industries that ServiceNow supports with the platform. And then slide two, you'll see it, it breaks out the core services on the bottom. And then slide three, you'll see on the top, it has our core packages that most people are familiar with. Workplace service delivery, HR service delivery, all, all pretty popular ones. So let's go through a few of these and show you. This is the part I was really excited about and I wanted to get this out to you as quickly as possible because it was just released 
today by one of our architects. So if you click on any of these links that you see jumping out at us, for example, I work in government, so I want to learn more about public sector digital services. I can click on that link and it's going to take me to a public sector digital services page. On some of the pages, you'll actually see another level of drill downs. For example, on this one, in Public Sector Digital Services Core, I can drill down again on that. And what you'll find at the bottom of these is the next level of information that'll give you just enough to understand that capability that you're drilling in on. So it's really nice to be able to get quickly to information and get a general idea of what we're talking about when you see that those vast amounts of capabilities. So if I do go back from there, I need to go back one more level to get back to my starting point. One for the industries, and if I come down to the second one, now we actually have things like IT service management, HR service delivery. And again, when I drill into HR service delivery, if I wanna learn more about onboarding, I could come here, I could see the general HR service delivery offering learn a little bit about it, but also I can come over here and click on employee onboarding and transitions and get more information specifically about what ServiceNow provides as part of that capability on the map. And one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to show this PowerPoint when it's not in presentation mode, because then the drill downs and then the walkbacks, like when I click on my home button here, they don't work as well. So you want to make sure you do stay in presentation mode when you're using this and then click around and get the information you need. This will help us too as architects so we come in. If you could point us to a specific area or areas of interest, we can help get you more information and uh, set up your architecture for you. We look forward to hearing from you. And again, once you go into that community, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe as well. And we can update you on other information we have such as this. Thank you very much.